Hi there. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I'm Sharon Taylor. Welcome to Blessings on the Beach. I'm coming to you from St. Peter Lutheran Church in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. So today we are going to use a phrase instead of a single word as our intention or our um, focus. And the phrase for today is all things mend. And this is coming from Living the Way of Love, written by Mary B. Sullivan. And she has a quote by L.R. Nost. The quote is, do not be dismayed by the brokenness of the world. All things break and all things can be mended. Not with time, as they say, but with intention. So go, love intentionally, extravagantly, unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. And Mary writes, 11 candles rested on the table, positioned at the temple's top step. A candle for each person killed on Shabbat at the Tree of Life synagogue. Thousands gathered. We prayed, we sang, we cried. Our sages tell us that one who saves a life has in effect saved the entire world, said Rabbi Moshe Ruba of Knesset, Israel. And by contrast, those that take a life destroy a world. My friends, we have lost worlds. In honor of the 11 lost worlds, we were encouraged to build worlds and perform a combined 1,100 mitzvah, which is good deeds. At the end of the prayer service, the cantor returned her, her turned on her cell phone's flashlight and began waving her arms as she sang. We mirrored her action, phones twinkling on like stars in the evening sky. Silently, we marched to another temple blocks away. Hundreds of lights marked the way ahead. I turned around, light upon light upon light piercing the sky, piercing our grief-stricken hearts with hope. The dark horror of hate, no match for the lights held by people of every race and religion. Christians are a people of hope steeped in the resurrection of Jesus and in the tradition of our Jewish relatives. The book of Jeremiah contains oracles of hope. In Jeremiah 30, it says, You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Again, you shall take your tambourines. Again, you shall plant vineyards. Yes, we will return home restored, but with the wisdom born from loss. For the Israelite people, the physical loss of home in the Babylonian captivity. For us, the loss of our shared humanity and decency. We will return home, but we will bear the bruises of this bitter time of enmity. Like Jesus, we are to bring the fire of our love and cross safe boundaries and go to those who live differently, love differently, believe differently than we do. The world is rebuilt one mitzvah at a time. And for reflection, the question, where can you, with God's help, lovingly seek and serve Christ in someone who is different than you? Where can you, with God's help, lovingly seek and serve Christ in someone who is different than you? How can you advocate for peace and safety in your community? How can you advocate for peace and safety in your community? It's so frustrating that seems that in our world right now, especially in our country and among Christians, that there is so much hatred and so much division and so much anger towards people who are different. And that comes not from Jesus. If you read the Gospels, Jesus is always crossing over boundaries, whether they be physical boundaries, ethnic boundaries, racial boundaries, spiritual boundaries. Um, Jesus is the one who was going to reach out and go the extra mile in order to be there for every single person and for the dignity of others. And I think it's interesting that Mary writes, for us, the loss of our shared humanity and decency. So many days I look up and I feel like we have lost our humanity, but we still have hope and we know that each one of us can make a difference, can have a ripple effect on this world. 
when we get together and we hold enough light for this world, we bring about the healing. We bring about that mending of what is broken. God brings that about through us. And so trusting to not let ourselves get so beaten down by the concerns around us that we just keep loving, regardless of what other people are doing, just keep loving, keep on showing respect for others, keep on crossing those boundaries and finding different people who are different from you and affirming them and learning about them and finding out what the gifts of diversity are. And so she writes a little intention for our day. Go, love intentionally, extravagantly, unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. So I hope that this will give you a sense of something to focus on and an intention for the day about how to shine your light, how to be light, how to be love, and to be the change, right, that you want to see in the world. We know that um, Gandhi said that. So be that change that you want to be in the world. So I just wanted to share with you that next week will be my last week providing the devotions, blessings on the beach. I will be retiring from my call at St. Peter in Fort Myers Beach. It has been a pleasure to be with you and to provide this shared time. I'm hoping that you will be able to find other resources online or resources within your small community where you are to be able to still have this discipline of beginning your day or ending your day in deep reflection and this chance to be intentional about living as God's people. So it has been a pleasure. I hope you'll join us Saturday for Saturday Worship, live streaming at 9.30 on our YouTube channel. Our website is stpeterfmb.com, stpeterfmb.com. And I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.